Yes, welcome back once again to the conversation on TV 360. I still have here with me in the studio uh, my co discussant, uh, Mof, Comrade Mofi Abadoni, a public affairs analyst. My name is Nelson Ekudumi. Thank you very much. Yes, uh, Mofi, now to the other topic of the day, which is about the impending NLCTUC uh, strike, strike, which they have uh, scheduled for the 3rd of October 2023. Uh, as a Nigerian, I am worried that it's like the Nigerian uh, labor centers have no other, you know, option or solution to addressing our societal issues than to this sort of strike. Uh, like I said somewhere earlier on this morning, even on my Facebook page, when I posted it, some persons just came to my wall and said, let them even start now. We are tired of all this. <laughs> Every time, strike, strike, strike. So, and uh, listening to Labour say, oh, the suffering of Nigerians. And I'm like, what sort of generic, you know, description is that? Because I know very well that the Labour Center is for the organized labor. The, non, the informal sector that contributes about 80% of our working population, I wonder how the Labour centers and the affiliates have taken these people into consideration because I'm somebody that lives in the community just like you, you are like you do. And we're all aware that so many of our people eke out a living on a daily basis. Yeah, that's true. If they don't go to work on a day, there's crisis. We know of homes where the breadwinners are the women. You know, in the time past, in this same society, you know, earlier on we discussed yeah. Nigeria 63. It was very rare of you seeing a woman driving no, a car. No, it, it was like it, it, it was like it wasn't our culture even for women to do certain things. Yes. But our, today the economic reality is yeah, as those, those women, the women are to sit down at home and take, take care, care of the children. And cook and yes. The man goes to struggle for money yes. and all that. So the labor the labor strike, the question bothering my mind, and I'm sure bothering the minds of millions of Nigerians is that in what way will this indefinite strike help our situation in view of the economic situation every Nigerian is passing through, whether rich or poor, a Yoruba man or an Igbo man or an Aousa? Because I know poverty does not discriminate has along no religious or <laughs> has no religion, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> has no color, has no color. <laughs> so I, 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 I'm, I'm worried that how long shall we continue on this path? Because as we speak, the palliatives that they were talking about, we have seen states being assigned that responsibility. And just this morning, like I said earlier on, one of the labor leaders was you know, saying, oh, it is about the plight of the federal workers. And I'm like, so because of the plight of only the federal workers, which constitutes maybe less than 1%, you want to put 90, the economic, you know, interest of 99% of the population into jeopardy. So I'm confused that how, is this the way to go at this point in time that it's, we should have an indefinite strike? Nelson is uh, I don't know. First of all, let me first of all uh, start by saying that um, embarking on strike is not illegal. It's not a crime. It's not an offense. Absolutely. It is uh, allowed it is a legal right. Um, yes. And um, we have had enough of it. If uh, merely embarking on strike solves problem, I'm sure we wouldn't be here today because we have embarked on strikes many a times in the past. And um, I don't need to tell you that the outcome didn't actually solve problem. Sometimes it, it even created more problems. But being that as it may, I think... Um, I want to see a situation where the NLC, that noble body, should take a deeper look and try to see how they can do things differently. The most common symptom of madness is when you are doing one thing repeatedly and expecting the result to be different. You know, I want to correct the use of that word because uh, okay. in uh, mental health, you know, balance. Mm. Uh, we, we don't use that term. Okay. It is about being mentally challenged. Mm. That, was, that is more okay. befitting. You know, so you know, when you begin to do things the same way, 
and they were expecting the result to be different is I don't know. So I want that NLC that will begin to first of all see itself as part and parcel of government. NLC is a body of Nigerian workers who work mainly for the government, who earn salaries from the government. Just like you have said, there are so many others who don't who don't even earn salary, whether from government or from outside government. Majority of Nigerians live per daily, what they earn per and day. Per that day was existence. why that was why during the uh, Naira uh, redesign or whatever that policy was called. That was why so many people felt the negative impact yes, so bad. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Because there were people who simply would just go and work and earn money in cash today to survive. By the time you were talking about cashless policies, not having money anywhere, you have killed the people indirectly. Do you know that you a, lot of, a lot of people in the construction industry are to shut down? Yes. Because you a lot of cash. the workers, cash. they will tell you they don't have a bank account. They need, they, they need their cash. Even as I speak to you, I had a project that I was superintending yeah. over. And the mason working with me, anytime you tell him, uh, bring your account, let me transfer, he will say, Oga, I, I don't, I don't get, get account. Yes. Give me my money for cash. And my money, I will take. Let, let, let me shock you. My friend in Festac during that period had some workers that did some things for him. Was, it was to pay them 10,000 naira. So he asked them to provide an account so he could do a transfer, but they didn't have cash. Then they suddenly so realized that even if he transfers 10,000 for them, they need another 4,000 to withdraw. So it means that he has just paid them 6,000. So he felt bad too. He had to go and look for money to buy. So that since he's one way or the other, his situation is better off. So yes, he didn't yes. just want to suffer those guys. Yes. So he had to go and buy money to pay them. Can that was imagine? our buy. So back to the issue of NLC. I want to see that NLC that will begin to align with government and begin to find solutions. I want to see that NLC that would, from time to time, organize seminars for workers. That NLC that will make, ensure that the workers are more um, productive in, in, in their places of work. Because don't forget too, we, we, we live in a society where you, you go to most of these government offices and you see civil servants who are also part of this NLC, idle, see some of them resume work and eventually engage in some of that private businesses. Some of them don't even take this, their job seriously. But once government owe them for one day, you hear it all over the place that government is wicked, government has not paid. You also need to be productive. Hmm. You also need to ensure that you are contributing. In fact, that what you are contributing to the government can pay your salary and that's where as well you eat profits. Yes. To the government, just like it is done in the private sector. Yes. But so that is not what we are we, saying. We, we, we are not against or we are not saying strike is illegal. No, it is part of the rights of the workers. Good, but but what we are saying here is that going on strike at this crucial economic time, time will it benefit us all? I, I also need to add this that. The strike you are talking about, or whatever demand you are making from government, even the ones you have made in the past, the ones you have you have gotten, the ones you are you are yet to get from the government, these are just for your workers, which is a minute percentage of the generality of the Nigerian workers. Because if you ask for salary increment, for instance, I won't get the salary increment because for I'm not working. That salary increment for this yes. few persons, yes. that does not at the long run change anything at all. It doesn't change. So <laughs> if we have an NLC. That will understand that there are problems and work with government to solve problems. If the economy becomes better, you don't necessarily need a bogus salary to meet up Absolutely. with your uh, yeah, economic with your, with demand. Your standard of living. You understand? So Absolutely. it's not about demanding for salary increment. It's not about making this demand. If things are going well, who will talk about palliative? No, if, even if we, we have, have, if, if we have a functional transportation system, yes. we can address our food issue. Thank you. You know, we can address health. Then uh, uh, those are the things consuming exactly. uh, the, uh, the land shock of our salary. So uh, for me, I believe 
strongly that the NLC and the TUC needs to have to do everything. a rethink on this issue. Everything. Because well, I've had enough we, of strikes. the, the strikes are not anyway. profitable to the average Nigerian in any way. Because today we are talking about the government struggling to have resources to meet up with its yeah. needs. If you shut down the economy, where will the government get resources to perform its responsibility? You also must consider the interest of those who don't end Who don't end any, absolutely. Just it, go we, to we, Kenya bus stop, go to Oshodi, go to Alaba International we, Market. You we, see we, people who must come out daily to, to work, to, work, to, work to, to end. end. We can't say it better than this, and we hope that those in charge of the organized labor will have a rethink on this issue I hope so. in the interest of Nigerians. Uh, Murphy, I want to thank you once again for coming on the program. It's my pleasure. Thank, thank you, you very much for being uh, with us on this program today. Till we come, again, till we come your way again in, in the next edition, please continue to stay, to stay tuned to the conversation on TV360. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.